A San Diego man is counting down the days to a reunion suddenly made possible because of the passage of Prop 36. That initiative reformed the three strikes law, and we've just learned five local inmates have already petitioned prosecutors for an early release. 10 News reporter Michael Chen reveals why a softer three strikes law could mean freedom for thousands and savings for taxpayers. She was smiling in the photo, but back in 1989, Lisa Connolly, hooked on drugs, was convicted for taking part in three burglaries. That got her two strikes. In 1999, she was caught with less than a gram of meth and a stolen book. That felony conviction, a third strike, translated into a life sentence. It's not just and it's disproportionate in its sentencing. Frank Corser started dating Connolly after curiosity about her case led to a prison visit 13 years ago. Corser set up a website called Free Lisa Connolly to tell her story. His website entries promoted Prop 36. The San Diego man also put up a YouTube video. We need to fix this. Promoting three strikes reform. Tuesday's passage of Prop 36, which mandates the third strike be a serious or violent offense, will likely toss out her life sentence. She'll be resentenced, but Corser believes with her time served, she'll be set free. He broke the news to Connolly by phone. She actually was in disbelief I, that I can't believe this is really happening, that I'll really get to go home. Connolly, who's at a prison in Northern California, is one of some 3,000 inmates across the state who will be submitting petitions for reduced sentences. Opponents argue dangerous criminals will be let out, while supporters point to the estimated $100 million in annual taxpayer savings, fewer inmates, and newfound hope for a group that was planning to spend their lives behind bars. This is going to give them a second chance at life. Michael Chen, 10 News. Local prosecutors expect about 300 petitions for shorter sentences to be submitted. State officials say the whole process could take two years, but Connolly is hoping for a new hearing within a few months.